Hey guys, LEGO World War 2 Reviews here, and today I'm going to be reviewing my custom LEGO Destiny Fallen Captain from the House of Devils. So, uh, I have named this captain here, this figure, I have decided to name him Gorhex the Guardian Slayer, because that's what he does, he slays guardians. Gorhex, I don't really know how I came up with that, I just sort of randomly started saying words with X at the end. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, pretty much his name, that's the intro, but, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get right onto this figure, so, uh, first I'll start with his accessories that he has, which are these two swords that he uses to kill guardians with, he, uh, of course I've painted those, and they've got blood on them, and this part is painted to be, like, the metal, so, oh yeah, I forgot to mention Sorry about that, but I forgot to mention, this Vandal is supposed to be, or not Vandal, this Captain is supposed to uh, be my take on, like, if Destiny was realistic or something, or if it was rated M for Mature. Uh, he'd be covered in blood, basically, and he'd be, you know, cutting limbs off of Guardians and everything like that. So, this is my take on the... Uh, Fallen Captain, or Destiny, I guess you could say, in general, uh, if it was infirmature. But, uh, anyway, these, uh, swords are from Brickinator99. If you watched my unboxing that I did, you would see that I, uh, that I got these along with the Captain set. But, um, then I, uh, we'll go ahead and start with the head. Sorry for that background noise, someone's phone is ringing, but that's fine. Um... The uh, helmet is Brickinator 99 as well, but I've painted all of the details on it, like dirt and blood, and the sort of red strip, sorry for the background noise again, and then I've also painted his blue eyes in there, with a uh, white in the middle to sort of look like they're glowing or something. Uh, then I've also painted this uh, chest armor right here, this chest armor. Uh, used to be white, uh, if I go ahead and turn around there, uh, it used to be white like that, but I painted all of, uh, the front right here to make it red to match the, uh, cape, which, speaking of the cape, I'll go ahead and show that. Boom, I, uh, went ahead and painted the cape with the House of Devils logo, along with some dirt at the bottom, because, you know, he's probably been walking through dirt, rolling around on the ground, getting it all dirty and stuff, so yeah, and of course, I, yeah, I would have painted this to make uh, more of a solid white, but I thought, I went ahead and said, well, you know, he is rolling around, he's probably, he's been in combat for a while, so this is, of course, going to be a little faded, the uh, logo is, but uh, as you can see, the blood and stuff continues onto the back of his helmet, and that yeah, red strip continues as well, and then, uh, you can see he also has these four arms, uh, made possible with Brickinator 99's arm pack, so, uh, even if you, uh, don't plan on making a Destiny Fallen character, these arm packs are, uh, just amazing and very useful for anything, really, anything that has four arms, at least. <laughs> But, uh, then we'll move on to the torso, of course. This is, uh, my first time painting a torso on a Lego minifigure, so don't, you know, don't be really rude. I mean, you can tell me how to improve and stuff in the comments, but don't just, don't, don't hate. Appreciate. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's all the details on there. I, uh, basically looked at the picture of the Grimoire card for the Fallen, and that's what I based it off of. But uh, then I also painted on his legs there. His legs were white. So let me focus there. But yeah, uh, they were white. So I painted the details on them. And also one thing that's special about this Fallen that I've made and uh, what I've sort of added to his own story is that he has actually captured one of the uh, Guardian's ghosts that he has killed, and the ghost was willing to help him uh, in exchange for the ghost's life. Uh, 
Actually, that doesn't really make much sense, because the ghost would probably die along with the guardian. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> we're just gonna go with that he found it or something. Whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, he has his own ghost with him, which I've painted a little bit, but, you know. Uh, he's not. The ghost isn't the star, so. And I guess you could say that he's the star in the game. Some people would, but, no. <laughs> uh... But yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, I can go ahead and take off the helmet for you guys and show you that all I literally, literally the only thing I painted was his eyes, and that was it. And if you're wondering what head this is, this is a Venom head, which was in pretty bad shape, so I went ahead and turned that around and just painted on the other side. And whenever you have the helmet on, you can't really notice it unless you're, like, really trying to look for it. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, pretty much my, uh, that's pretty much it for my custom Lego Fallen Captain from the House of Devils. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know where I should improve for other customs. And also, be sure to let me know, uh, what else to make. Like, if you have anything in particular that you want me to paint uh, or something. You can tell me down in the comments below, and I, if I'm interested enough, or if it gets enough uh, upvotes or something, or likes, then I will probably paint it, so, and then I'll do a video on it and shout you out. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this guy. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Roar. Uh, think about it.